There's renewed optimism this morning about the economy. New numbers show that the jobs market may be on the rebound. Joining us now from Philadelphia with a look ahead to the rest of the year is Mark Zandi, chief economist of Moody's Analytics. Good morning, Mark. And when I say Happy New Year, I guess it's more of a question. Is it, is it a Happy New Year as far as our economy goes? Well, it's happier. I think the economy has been performing much better in the last several months. And uh, the, the year ended, last year ended on a pretty high note. Holiday sales were pretty good. Uh, auto dealers sold more cars. Uh, as you pointed out, the job market's feeling a little bit better. Even the housing market has a better tone to it. So I, I think things are looking up as we move into 2012. You mentioned, Mark, uh, holiday sales. And there's a new report out that finds that sales at major retail chains were up 3.4 percent, which was a little better than expected. But it isn't all good news, correct? No, yeah, you're right. It's not uh, gangbusters. Uh, I mean, I'll take it. Uh, at least we're growing and uh, retailers are enjoying better sales. Of course, they had to uh, uh, aggressively cut prices and be very uh, aggressive in their other kinds of promotions to get people in the stores and buying. But all in all, sales were, were okay, pretty good, uh, lays a pretty good foundation for 2012. Cautious optimism also we're seeing in the manufacturing sector, which I know is a crucial component to any sort of recovery. Uh, what are we seeing there specifically with, with auto manufacturing? Yeah, that's the key. Uh, the auto sector is coming back. Uh, vehicle sales have been steadily improving over the past couple of years. Uh, sales are about as high as they've been in five, six years. Uh, and the vehicle sector is very important to manufacturing uh, broadly. A, a lot of manufactured products, everything from steel and textiles and carpets and chemicals and paints and machinery, go into making a car. So when the vehicle sector is doing well, uh, manufacturing more broadly is doing better. And that's uh, been one of the key sources of growth in the economic recovery and is, and is a very positive sign going forward. And what do you see in the housing sector this year, Mark? Well, I think we're coming to the end of uh, the crash. Uh, as you know, the housing market's been in a long slide, uh, six years and counting. Uh, and I think there are some signs of stabilization. Home sales uh, are beginning to improve a bit. Housing construction is up, particularly for apartment buildings. And while I think we'll probably see a bit more price declines this year, we still have a lot of property in the foreclosure process that have to be worked through. I think the price declines will be over by this time next year. And by 2013, I think housing will be a source of growth and, and not the, the drag it has been in recent years. For, forgive the skepticism, but I've heard this a couple of times over the last several years. We're poised, especially with housing, to see this sort of bottom of the market and begin turn up. Anything specific as you drill down that's giving you any more confidence now about the housing market than we've seen in these sort of fa false alarms of, of the last couple of years? Yeah, good point. Uh, we've heard this before. Uh, but there are some uh, increasingly positive developments. Of course, fixed mortgage rates uh, are as low as they've ever been. I mean, if you have a reasonable credit score and have a reasonable down payment and job, you can get a fixed mortgage loan for less than 4%. And that's as low as it's ever been. And we've also made some uh, significant progress reducing the number of vacant homes out there. Uh, that, of course, has been a very significant drag on the housing market. And as we absorb those housing units, uh, that lays the foundation for a better housing market. So uh, there are some things that have improved, but you're right. Uh, it could be another false step. Uh, it may take longer than I'm anticipating. Mark, in the past few weeks, we've seen these uh, better than expected first time unemployment numbers. How encouraging is that? Because, of course, at the end of the day, what people really care about is jobs. Yeah, you're right. Well, very encouraging. What that means is that businesses are curtailing their layoffs, and uh, that's very, very key to. Uh, the job market and get, getting the job market moving in the right direction. Of course, now we need to see businesses begin to hire again. And we are seeing some small improvement in the rate of hiring, but it's still very low by historical standards. So uh, the first step is uh, seeing those layoffs get curtailed. And I, I think we've taken that step. We now need to see businesses step up, get their groove back, and really start to hire. We're not quite there yet. And that's why, even though I'm feeling better about the economy, I'm not entirely enthusiastic. I don't think we're off and running yet. All right, big question, because we're here in New Hampshire very quickly. By November, time of the presidential election, are we going to be in good shape, better shape? I'd say better. You know, I, I think the, the economy certainly has been a headwind for the president and the uh, other incumbents. I don't think it would be quite the headwind that it uh, has been by Election Day, I, but it won't be a tailwind either. Mark Zandi, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you.